Just for people who try to look at 720p video on YouTube and get stuttering, specifically under Firefox, because I'm only going to be able to cover Firefox. Is YouTube punishing Firefox ad block users again? Because they are actually guilty of that, and that's one of many things they're going to show up in court for under antitrust laws. Uh, are they lagging on your hardware, or is it just Google's own codec that costs them no money that lags? Because, yeah, it probably is. The H264 codec that most people are told, even by Google and YouTube, to upload with works on old hardware. The older the technology, the more likely it is to work on older hardware or under conditions that are kind of screwed up and or on newer hardware. As long as the old thing works, you might, you might want to keep using it. But um, not only that, it may run with less battery usage, less heat, less stuttering in general. Basically, if you design software like a codec for video playback to work correctly under really bad conditions, it should work just fine under good conditions. And as everybody's noticed, and I want every one of you just to acknowledge this, as we go forward in time, um, services on the internet are going to get shittier and shittier because they're trying to shave pennies with finer and finer grit sandpaper. H.264 is a licensed for cost codec. There are other open source versions, but that's not really happening. Now, Google created VP9 codec. It costs them nothing because it's their codec. They also apparently open sourced it partially or completely and released it, but it doesn't freaking work unless you have completely perfect connection, etc. And a lot of you have experienced it. On Firefox, you can go into about config and look for media.mediasource. And find a bunch of them. One of them is VP9 and it has a setting called enabled. You can turn it off. That, in my case, worked fine. Now, if you still get audio freezes and or tearing and or it doesn't do any good, put it back the way it was and try media.mediasources.webm, which is the older standard. And you can enable, uh, you can enable or disable it. This would disable it. And also disable the, the audio version of it. Now, why is this useful? This tells, no, this isn't really turning off. I mean, it is, but what it's saying is the media source being fed into the browser will be given a lower priority, meaning if there's some other way of doing it, using a different codec, it'll use a different one. And by rejecting VP9, you're telling YouTube very explicitly to make sure they still pay the licensing fee for H.264 and give it to you. If they see people using that in preference, or if your browser s claims that it's not able to do it for some reason, usually the reason your browser won't be able to do it is because your computer's missing the codec, or or the, uh, the file's corrupted, or maybe the hardware on your computer won't work with it. It'll assume, oh, he, this person has lower end hardware. Now this takes up technically more bandwidth or not. It depends on your, you know, your mileage will vary. But if you have a decent connection, it should work. And again, this stuff was created back when bandwidth was lower. Okay. Now the next one is those are only needed if it's audio problems. But you could also just look up media.mediasource.webm or just media.mediasource, nothing, and just look up all the different ones and see which ones may or may not affect this. Make sure that you have the ability to find them by making notes or making a text file like I do. And you can also reset all of them if you screw it up. And you can screw this up pretty badly to where not a dang thing works. And remember, this is affecting every website, not just YouTube. Another one is GFX graphics uh, dot, dot web render dot com positor. You can set that one to false if you want to and try that if things get weird. That would, may or may not work at all anymore because that was only a 2023 hack as far as YouTube's way of doing things, or it may have only applied to 2023 versions of Firefox. Nobody's being specific. People just basically try things and try to get it working. You can look up the Wikipedia article on VP9. You can also look up an add-on called H264FI that forces maybe more than just YouTube, to use H.264 preferentially. Now, if you're not aware of it, these codecs and standards have been a problem for 
many decades. It's not just YouTube and Google. Codec mixing or having too many codecs or having conflicting codecs or having the things not done in a proper uh, sorted order of preferences has been a problem for a very long time. You could, you could have this problem with, like, uh, if you're trying to play back a music file. So this is how that kind of thing happens. Okay, next we go to the next page here. This is what it looks like in Firefox Advanced Preferences about config. Media, dot, media, re, media source dot VP9 enabled, and I set it to false. Now let's look for all the other VP9 stuff. We have this one. And this is a this is this thing here says that I'm adding one. It means it doesn't know what I'm talking about. Now let's look at all the other media source references. Uh, let's do that. So we have you can media source enable, media source experimental enable, media source MP4 enable. You get how it's turning on and off. Whether or not the browser will use these, it doesn't have a sorting or pecking order. Uh, media media source WebM audio enabled and blah blah blah. These are all set to true. And of course, I could create a string here. It offers to make a string instead of instead of me right clicking and create new one. Um, this is uh, this is their new advanced way of running the interface. And if you want to go absolutely crazy, look up all of these settings. They go on for pages and pages. So anyway, again, this is probably but not always VP9 codec by Google, which costs them nothing may be causing lags because it's not finished perfect or even maybe workable depending on your browser. Your computer may be just old enough it isn't working, um, etc. However, an older, I mean, I'm saying this is older, it's not really that old, an older codec like H.264 or something like that may work better simply because it's been around a long time and it was around when we had worse connections. Okay, and again, you're going to see this on the internet where uh, websites will be switching to formats that just don't work. Mostly because they're trying very hard to avoid every dime they can spend by creating their own, uh, that sort of thing. This is also where you get WebM in general and and WebP and who knows what other formats. Uh, uh, there's a specific version of an image format I hate. Hate. That also causes these problems. Um, I think that's actually the WebM. Um, and uh, it's because it's new and it costs somebody nothing. Yes, it was Google. So... You're going to see this happening. I mean, uh, every company's going to do it. Twitter's going to finally come up with their own sometime. Everybody's trying to cut every penny down as much as they can, and that's what's causing it. This was caused by money. This is not caused by innovation and 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 fixing a problem. This causes problems because people are trying to fix the bank accounts. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. I hope this has been useful to you, and bye-bye. Uh,